Hi everyone, welcome back to another great interview series. I have the privilege to interview today Sarah McVanel. Hi Sarah, how are you doing? I am awesome. Thank you so much for having me on your show. Thank you for being here. Sarah is Canada's recognition expert. She also helps leaders leverage the exponential power of recognition to retain top talent and sustain healthy button lines. She also cultivates healthy, healthy workplace culture through FROG, which stands for Forever Recognizing Others' Greatness. And she also helps entrepreneurs to shake off the golden handcuff like she did and launch successful six to seven figure business they love. So Sarah, my first question is, we know that during pandemic, our feelings are high. Some days we're good, some days we're not. And for job seekers, it adds more pressure on them. So how can they stay calm while they're job searching? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, recognition starts with you. So as much as uh, Frog Forever Recognize Others Greatness seems to be outward facing, we can't give what we don't have uh, for ourselves. So um, start a recognition habit, a self-acknowledgement, whether it's an affirmation. I know in the shower this morning, I was trying to do this, a list of what have I accomplished already this week? Because, you know, even I running a successful business in the middle of COVID still have to get off of the constantly progressing and moving and task to task sort of life. So take a step back, take stock, what is working and um, find one thing every single day you can acknowledge. Yeah. When I first started my business, which really was equivalent to starting a new job because, you know, <laughs> you're getting used to new things and, and, you know, trying to make sure that you, you delight people and so forth. I had to start an acknowledgement habit. I had to, I actually took out physical frogs. I mean, I got frog cutouts, but you can use a post-it note, a, a whiteboard, whatever you want to do. And write down one thing, mm -hmm. even if it's small, yes. that you can acknowledge about yourself. You put in a resume, you call back a reference, you know, some of you did a reference for you to check where they're at. Um, you know, you post an article on LinkedIn. What did you do to move your career journey forward? And focus on that rather than what's not working or how much farther you have to go. Yeah, I totally agree with you. I started having a morning journal, which is uh, having three things to be grateful. It can be very small. Oh. Things, you know, I love my cat. I love my partner. I love the nature. I love photography. So all those things helps you and starting that mindset of positiveness, which helps. Well, and you know what? I, I love that you said that because here's something that I realized during COVID I need to do. And I never would have called myself out on this um, if it, we weren't in this global crisis, and which frankly caused a, a lot of us to experience lots of mental health or at least well-being challenges. Right. I noticed that every day I was waking up thinking, oh, I didn't get enough sleep. Oh, you know, what am I going to, what are we going to cook for dinner? I have so much to do. You're nodding your head. I can tell you can <laughs> relate to this. Yeah. So instead, here was the shift. Okay. As soon as I catch myself thinking that, which is almost every single day when I wake up, because who can't get more sleep and who didn't, you know, did actually follow their exercise routine and who didn't, you know, over carb load the day before. So instead of thinking all those things, think, okay, what am, what Instead of what, how I'm starting already in a deficit position, what do I have to look forward to? What is working? Mm -hmm. um, why don't I have even more on my plate? And, and so it's, it's a more optimistic way to start the day. And uh, one of the people that I love, one of the books I love the most is called Presuasion by mm -hmm. Dr. Robert Caldini. Nice. And he talks about the importance of not entirely finishing something that you love. So that's the other thing that I think about when I wake up in the morning is what's something that I almost got finished that I can't wait to get back to. Yes. Um, so for those of you who are finding it hard to get motivated every day, do something that brings you joy. And I don't just mean the Netflix show that you're binge watching. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like a book that you were reading or, you know, um, maybe an article that you thought was great that you couldn't wait to post on LinkedIn don't stop it at the point where you're like, great, it's done. I'm so excited. And then have to figure out what do I do next? Yes. Um, stop on a high and then fin it, pick up where that high is and let it carry you into the next thing. Yeah. Those are great tips, Sarah. Thank you for sharing. 
So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask her a couple of questions and it will be posted on a daily basis. So on a one week, you'll have a journey with us. Every day you can see what we're talking. And if you like any of the videos, like and share, uh, reach to us and tune in next time for another great question with Sarah. Mm -hmm.